an international team of scientists using a combination of radio and optical telescopes has for the first time managed to identify the location of a fast radio burst, allowing them to confirm the current cosmological model of the distribution of matter in the universe. On April 18, 2015, a fast radio burst, FRB, was detected by the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, XRO, S64M Parks Radio Telescope in Australia. An international alert was triggered to follow it up with other telescopes and within a few hours, a number of telescopes around the world were looking for the signal, including XRO's Australian Telescope Compact Array, ATCA. FRBs are mysterious bright radio flashes generally lasting only a few milliseconds. Their origin is still unknown, with a long list of potential phenomena associated with them. FRBs are very difficult to detect, before this discovery only 16 had been detected. In the past FRBs have been found by sifting through data months or even years later. By that time it is too late to do follow-up observations says Dr. Evan Keane, project scientist at the Square Kilometer Array Organization and the lead scientist behind the study. To remedy this, the team developed their own observing system to detect FRBs within seconds, and to immediately alert other telescopes, when there is still time to search for more evidence in the aftermath of the initial flash. Thanks to the ATCA 622M dishes and their combined resolution, the team was able to pinpoint the location of the signal with much greater accuracy than has been possible in the past and detected a radio afterglow that lasted for around six days before fading away. This afterglow enabled them to pinpoint the location of the FRB about 1000 times more precisely than for previous events. The key to this project was the rapid localization of the FRB and identifying the host galaxy said Benjamin Stappers, professor of astrophysics at the University of Manchester. Discovering more FRBs will allow us to do even more detailed studies of the missing matter and perhaps even study dark energy. To do this, we are starting projects with arrays of telescopes like E. Merlin and Meerkat, which will allow us to have a localization directly from the burst itself. The team then used the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, NAOJ, S8.2M Subaru Optical Telescope in Hawaii to look at where the signal came from, and identified an elliptical galaxy some 6 billion light years away. It's the first time we've been able to identify the host galaxy of an FRB added Dr. Keen. The optical observation also gave them the redshift measurement, the speed at which the galaxy is moving away from us due to the accelerated expansion of the universe, the first time a distance has been determined for an FRB.